Hey guys, it's Joe with this quick video letting you know that Soul Exchange DC June 11th, we will have Yeezy Boost 350s for retail. Tag two friends in the comments below and let them know Soul Exchange DC June 11th, Yeezy Boost 350s for Sneaker retail. Fam, welcome to another episode of the Sneaker Dome. I am your host, Sneaker James, aka the Shoe Freak. I want to take this time to wish a very special Happy Mother's Day to all other mothers all across the world. Hope you guys have a good day. But we already know what it is today. Classic Kick Sunday. So without further ado, man, we're going to get directly into it. Let's do it. It's Sneaker Down with the cream of the crops. We got the ones and twos. This shit don't stop. Walk up in the building, my shit gon' pop. Never know what I got in the box. Over your 12, swag too easy. Need my own sneakers, call up you easy. We don't wait in line no more. My plug too greedy. But it was time last year, but the culture needs me. Yeah. The dome nigga, link in the bio weekly. Alright, so, like I said, man, classic kick Sunday. If you're new to the channel, every Sunday for the next couple of weeks, like I said, I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be talking about a classic kick from back in the 90s. Just giving the fruit facts, some things you may know, some things you probably didn't know. Today, we're gonna be covering one of Nike's classic sneakers from 1992, the Nike Air Raid. This is the Peace colorway. Uh, and of course, this just re-released, I think about a year ago. Super classic, super dope shoe. Of course, with the peace sign on the cross drops. Of course, symbolizing live together, play together. So, super dope shoe, man. Super dope colorway. Extremely comfortable. And the designer behind this shoe, Tinker Hatfield. I'm pretty sure you guys know who he is. He's responsible for some of the dopest sneaker releases ever. If you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look. See what I'm saying? So he created this shoe. This is the very first, very first Nike shoe that was made for outdoor use only. Yes, man, the very first Nike shoe that was that was designed for outdoor basketball use only. Pretty dope. Like I said, I don't I don't play basketball as much as I used to, and if I did, definitely wouldn't be playing in these days. Things are extremely dope. So like I said, man, you guys um, feel free to come through, comment, like definitely subscribe to the channel man but I also want to hear you guys comments on what you think about these you think they were a decent shoe um, did you cop them when they re-released you know what I'm saying just comment down below let me know what you guys think also of the series classic kick Sundays if you think I should continue and um, of course I want to take this time out to give a shout out to my homeboy heads on wheels if you like I told you before man if you're in a local DMV area my man will deliver hand deliver heads to your home if not, he ships worldwide. And um, and I know I talk about him often, so at the end of the video, stay tuned, I'll give you a look at some of the hats that I picked up from him. It's your boy Sneaker James, AKA the Shoe Freak, and I'm out. Mm -hmm. 